Hey, yo, Playboy, I'm... This, okay, let's play that game. What we doing? What we doing? When the host Nina Parker called Hazel E to the reunion stage, Masika was not receptive to the idea, so she chose to do something funny. Now she said that she ain't gonna sit in the same room where Hazel was, and you'd be surprised on how this situation played out. Let's get Hazel's. I'm leaving. It's her or me. I'm sitting on the couch with her. I'm not giving her any more camera time. Come on, Masika, please. I already said she was. Go, Peacock. You wouldn't have been here. Go, go away, Peacock. You Masika, would, would you sit on the couch? Happen. Brought her back from the dead, and she can die. I don't care with you. Are you going to apologize for what you said about my daughter? Or, or for throwing the drink but when I turned my back? Turn your okay, see, this is, why. this is why. Um, yeah, Aww. this is why. Why did you decide to involve yourself and make that statement? Yeah. Hazel who? Yeah, like, she didn't know who I was. The bitch knows who I am. Fetties or not, like, don't get mad. Nothing burning is that vagina. Take it. Vagina We've seen go through it. Just it's great. It's just. If this rumor saying I faked a crash that I almost died on to get a nose job, did I ever get an apology? Be willing to come back on the stage. Move her back to the holding cell. Not even that I can't really speak on it because I did it. You know what I'm saying? So that would be hypocritical of me. Friends with both of them. Are you in the middle? Yeah, I just don't like when people bring kids up. There is no song with Fetty, honey. And, There's and no her. song. No, it don't even sound. Like him. Stop speaking my name, period. I didn't. They said, they said your name. I, I, said, said, who? Your I said, who? I said, who? And if somebody has a hook on a track, you can go and do a okay. verse. So I it mean, was a hook that it? you used for a song this is and it's your song. YouTube and everything else. Okay. Is this girl. something that you plan on releasing? Is this something? It's right, a I'm gold gone. digger. I just All think right. that she's a pro. So. Okay. And I think you're a hoe. Mm -hmm. so All right, pro. Because y'all got the best verbiage with the, each other. Yeah. She walked away like a yeah. punk. I will not sit on couch, nor seat, nor anything with this bitch till you apologize for what you said about my child. Now, Nina Parker asked for a truce between Zell Swag and Mr. Bray. Now, when they all thought that the beef between the two of them would be settled, Zell Swag had other plans, and he executed it perfectly. I mean, Swag is in the brother's name. A truce between you two? A truce? Yeah. A truce. A truce. Get up and give him a hug. I don't think we're asking for that. Oh. 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 I'm not too kidding. much shit for me to be cordial with any motherfucking body, bitch. Oh, my bitch. God. Yes. Yes, you got to run up and sneak nobody. That lame as The muzzle back on the dog. I think he needs to be What the bleeding from? That acceptable. That was I unacceptable. Trust, I don't trust Bye, Alexis. Get this Ray. Listen, bro. Come Ray. here, bro. Come that on, bro. Cool. Real I don't... That was like any of us. I can't even breathe right now. I'm so bad. Rosell is nobody's friend. He's the type of person that would his mother over if it would get him famous. Hi, New York. I'm gonna handle like a white woman. I'm pressing charges. Good luck with coming near me next season. Welcome back. As you guys just saw, things got very heated. Everybody has given you a well of support, and and I appreciate you coming back on the stage. Better now, like I didn't, I knew that he was not sincere, and that's just how I feel. I was caught up in what was happening, but apparently, I'm told that Alexis laughed. I'm gonna give him a hug. I thought it was funny, but Why? I mean, it really escalated. Girl, you get getting pregnant is funny. I'm sorry that Stay happened there. to you, even though I don't like you. It's okay. She can right. laugh at me for getting hit because I laughed at her with Moni snap. Now, ain't nobody thought the chaotic would blow up, but he did eventually when he was called a friend of Prince. Now, Prince did claim that they both did everything together back in the day, but Chaotic said he was alive, that he and Prince were never friends. Go after Prince like that. You know, I just felt tried, you dig what I'm saying? Hearing her to like one of my family members, I didn't see the match because I, I was around you. Who's running around me, that wasn't like your girl. Why would you tell him you a bitch? Picnic, first of all, she came in that with them little shorts, look again, it was a conversation, me that's what I came from. It wasn't so much about Because I'm getting to know you. I ain't your I sat at my table. I ain't never seen Kiara go, go to the club and have it. This girl, I'm sitting down on the couch. This girl come put up right in my face and say, we still to this day. <laughs> Got a Liz PTSD and anxiety. Because get what? Then you telling me how old. I ain't in his face. Bro, that's not where the that's So, so just say, but I'm saying I'm dead for him. So I like, did what I was supposed to do. No fear running my blood, bro. I stood up to the two that you had. I stood there and fought and the money. I treated chaotic like a friend. Videos, I got pulled up right now. My shoes right now cost 2000 You're corny, man. You're corny. You look I'm not going to shoot nobody. I won't rob nobody. But try me. I'm going to be right there to fight with my two mother hands. Whether he going to jump me with. All right, so Briscoe played a smooth game. But his luck ran out during his first reunion back from prison. Now, after getting back to his family on solid terms, it was revealed that Briscoe had extramarital affairs, man. He'd be slapping some skin. You know what I'm saying? Sticking his sausage in that bun. Now, he was doing it with several women and having some fun. 
Oh, yeah, and it was also on the reunion stage with him, too, so y'all can imagine how that went down. Fresh out of jail, Briscoe was focused on the present and reuniting his family. He first had to convince her he's fully changed. So good to be home, to see my kids and hug them, it just feel good to be free. You know me, I'm all about action. And if you really want it, let me know. You moving here with me, with us. I can't be in here by myself. You know I want you back. I thought about it. I want to do this. Just have some respect. I'm in at a decent hour. I'm willing to, you know, there's still rules. Thank Get you. too excited, Thank but. You. Welcome Tello to the show. Yes! Yeah. How did you end up in jail and how much time did you serve? I got caught with some felonious money, scams and fraud and stuff like that. Miami, I'm Briscoe. I'm put on this big billboard. I have to make it. Always try to keep myself up here. That's real to admit Damn, that. that is, I'm That's, that's super real at that. It just, it wasn't him. So I was, I, I didn't know really what was going on. Danger. Um, just being deprived of a woman, a woman's touch. Hello. Do you see a change in him? Yeah, I guess because he had a little weight on him now. He's a little <laughs> bit more calmer. He is as well, so that had to be rough for you. Just those stages and the space they was in, I just felt so, like, I let them down and... What is the status now of your relationship? We working on it. Mm -hmm. We trying to build on it. He believes his own life. Because I feel like you got something. Yeah, we working on it. Yeah. I'm seeing what he got going on. Period. So should we save it or should we... Yeah, let's save it. We know you're trying to rekindle the flame with Cello, but it appears some sparks were flying with someone else. What <laughs> are you feeling right now, Cello? I feel like I want to slap the oh, out of What the oh, is that about? about? Don't play with me. What the oh, is you doing? Bro, grab him. You look real good. Listen, Claudia, Claudia, I need to jump in. Did more than that happen? Of course. Want to ask some questions? Kendall, you there? <laughs> Y'all use the protection? Well, I mean... Well. Oh, she's yeah. coming down. <laughs> All right, it looks like Chameleon will be joining us. Hey. All right, let's welcome Chameleon to the stage, everyone. Hey, boo daddy. Oh. You didn't know about his relationship with Shella? No, I had seen it, and then I asked him about it. Wasn't nothing, you know, I'm just there for my kid. Beautiful lady. You know what I'm saying? She got his kids, so bitch it off. Listen, I was back here. You revealed something to me back here on the couch, and you was like, I need to get out there. Period, and come on. To come clean yourself. Is my car service here? Take away about that. Yeah, and he, he did, he did get out for y'all situation. So pause, you, you left him while he was in jail. You were dealing, just to be clear, Tip, you were dealing there with Briscoe we as well. Here, that is probably feeling like crap right now. Are you hurt right now to good. hear all this hurt. stuff right now? No. Dan, I understand. You irresponsible. Shello, I understand, I understand, Michelle, I understand your frustration. Oh, shut the f up. Because for you to do something irresponsible, you sound stupid. You understand my frustration. Listen. You sound stupid. You need to shut you the gonna up. You're going to shut your up. Play with me. We started this segment off talking about how he wants to get back. I'm not even. Going there. <laughs> his ass the f got that pink couch. Oh. For real, for real. <laughs> and I invest in my time in this right. man, and when he do some stupid sh I've always been there for him. Being there for him. Frisco, any final words in the segment? To Michelle, like, Just we gotta talk. Me. We gotta talk. Billion, we really gotta talk. The thing is about Shello, she's a great person, a genuine person, boss, That's and she right. molded me into who I am. No, no, saying. listen. She's definitely mad right now, and we gonna talk about it, because we got to, we, we are really family. Kendall has something to say about the situation. Kendall, what you got? Uh, Chello, you, you gonna take him back, bro. <laughs> James had a thing with Mariah Lynn, but it was revealed during a reunion show that James was not who he presented himself to be. Now, when Mariah Lynn got her chance, she didn't hold back on down and James, and she was supported by Snoop. Always make sure that a new guy is sincere, because sometimes that guy may be something else in disguise. A few months back through the industry. He's giving me diamonds like this. This could work. Y'all coming after my young little baby girl right now. She's working real, real hard. Of course, you would do that to you me. in that video. You said you wasn't with her anymore. Say thank y'all for coming through, of course. You got the ops, what you know? <laughs> Playing ball up today with the homie James. He just mentioned he shot a video. Because <laughs> you talk about <laughs> Don't, don't act crazy, man. Can I beat out you? Join us tonight at the reunion. So we'll Thank just God. move on without her. <laughs> <laughs> about her doing this video. Quay, I apologize. Yeah, I have to apologize to Jack Quay. Course, Do you accept his course. apology? Yeah, I accept it because I'm I'm good now. Yeah. At, like at the end of the day, like dog, you 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 took the luggage off my hands. It wasn't it, it wasn't for that magnitude. I wasn't trying to make it happen like that. She was throwing me. Well, you got her a dog. Dog, you always wanted. I'm mad. The dog cost more than the.
crystal necklace I thought was a diamond. Oh. Worth it, but you sitting on the stage because of me, bitch. Stop, stop. You want to sit here talking? Don't what you talking for what? Some balls, my Baby, So make a you want to be a girl or be a man? man what is it? Up. Act like a child, female okay. that you are. Uh, hey, what's up? Hey, no. Hey, no. What is the craziest thing you've used a man for? You pay my rent for six months straight because you like me. And that's happened? Yeah, of course it happens. But I want to have a good time. Oh, and I got bills, and I want them to be paid. <laughs> you got a lot of love for me. You got a lot of everything you wanted from me. So it's like, why can't I get some back? Look what you gave Amina and, and, and Tyra. Babies, and that's it. <laughs> No, that's not what she's saying. What she's I'm saying is if, saying I, if I'm with a and you, you want to lay down with me, you don't want me to have somewhere to wash my ass? You don't want me to have somewhere to lay down? When I, I guess what I'm trying I mean, to say... It's okay for the first thing for you to ask a chick for some ass, though, I'm right? I'm not asking that's a chick. Okay. And what are they getting in return? What are they getting in return? We got love. They we look got, stupid we, we got on love. TV. You don't know me like that. I don't know if one of them butt shots leak into your bloodstream, but you're being very disrespectful right now. Well, I don't thank know God none of your is in my bloodstream, cause I'll be damned. Oh, my God. reputation. Listen, listen. She's a the talented ass woman, sweetheart. and Cyrus a smart ass woman, and you got them let looking say, dumb say, on TV. Right, right. Men like you need to get used. You don't even look. You think that's okay. good? Who are okay. you? Right. You know who I am. Yeah, you A-Town. Right. All right, all right, all right. Instagram. All right. No, and you are the right. goddamn fool. Huh? You make the Bronx look bad. Okay, let's. Oh. Do you think because of that situation, the retaliation of Petty was to her? Yes. Uh, I will say this, okay? I do believe that after all this time, a genuine friendship has developed. Because I deleted her number out the phone a few times, and they still spoke. And, Girl, I know. you always don't I, I know did, something. No, no, I did. That's what I can't okay. take. I well, know she knows. Well, let me, let That's me all I can't take is that I didn't know that. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Not I first, can't. I didn't say it like that, I but can't. She I didn't knew. know Listen, that her and Nina. She knew. You don't have to tell me what I know and what I, know I don't what you know. know. Boo boo. You don't, honey. And finish, right? It seems like every season there's someone to have beef with, or there's someone to be at BFF with. For you, I understand you've tried several different reality this shows, girl, and this is where you've landed. You can never Let check me. me. I'm not trying to check you. Can you can never check right, me because right, I want to expose you. No, 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 okay, play wait with a bitch. minute. No, I can say, in Ra's defense, I, I didn't see it at first, but Yandy, it do be certain things where you be like, oh, maybe, you know, Ra's managing. Ha ha ha! She's a shoe salesman. That's throwing shade. Is shit. there something more that we're not seeing yes. that is behind? Yeah, Ra and my girl got problems. That's just, that shit got nothing to do with me. Anyway, Remy, what you need, flowers? She's like... Why would that... <laughs> skin like that, I'll be all right. You're not gonna ruffle my feathers because oh, we don't have any bye. issues. Let's, let's, Nina, let's deal with the issues Nina, one at a time. One second, Nina, one second. This is just a serious, serious epidemic. The audience, do you guys have your vaccination shots? Because it seems like there's a bad case of CT, and that's just the problem. She just can't take me. Vaccination shot for everyone. Wait. Because oh, listen, CT, CT, CT can't take. And I can't okay. take you. That's why I want okay. you to stage I left. Have no reason, I'm over you. I have no reason ever to be upset. I can sit on this stage and look pretty every season without raising look my pretty, voice. Boo. We gotta stop fighting and we and gotta stop arguing. And I'm not. And you. I can't. Wow, you saying you this bigger person, I whatever? No I don't bigger even person. know. But I don't even what know. You heard me say no, that. I'm saying I don't. I what do you? I said I was okay, no bigger okay. person. Ra'll be that one she to come and be your like, shoes. you need it. No, I'm saying in general, Yandy. Right. She throws shade like that, and then she wanna act innocent. All That's right. what I mean. All right, you, you got to wrap all this the up. bitches that you. When Cardi B was asked a controversial question during the reunion, her answer felt right to the ladies, but did not sit well with the men who tagged it as prostitution. What's your own response to the question? Now, before you answer, you should know that things eventually got heated with Cardi and Peter Guns, but the scenario did not only involve Guns and Cardi B, Yandy was also caught up in a heated exchange with CT. TNT project. I'm gonna drag you because then I wanna fight. It was gonna be a problem when you saw her? I said, when I see her, I'm gonna drag her. That's a guaranteed fact. Ooh. And when I seen her, I was gonna drag her one on one. Yeah. Yeah. If you talk about when I see you, I'm gonna right. do X, Y, and this. Right. It's no rules like you can't right. jump me though, you right. can't sneak me though. Right. No. no. Right. Like, I feel like I'm being jumped right now. Like, I honestly feel like I'm being jumped right now. Like, y'all really like doing a lot. Like, this I'm sorry. I knew Bianca since 2004 when I had blue hair before people was thought of. <laughs> and this was the same that was going on. I blamed Bianca when me and, her and Yandy sat down. Who did I blame? Me. That's a lot of these bitches do that. And I apologize for getting 
hype with you because I should have more respect for a queen like you, Remy. No, I appreciate you saying that, but you, it's not about me being a queen. That's this whole thing. This is, this ain't about no rap. This is me just being the realest that I can be to you. Stop playing these social media games. People get hurt I'm every day it, from playing on social media. It's impossible to be with this when you're 410. No, it's not. I'll just... start with you, Rashida. You'd heard Kay Michelle tell you the story so many times, and there were points where you empathized with her and understood her story. What was different that time? What made you take a different position? What are your thoughts now on the on the subject on everything that you've heard from K. Michelle? You know what? To be honest with you, it ain't got nothing to do with me, but at the end of the day, I don't know if I believe K. Michelle. Okay. So regardless of how crazy K. Michelle is or how I act, I don't say I act right. What happened to me is what happened to me. And Rashida, you don't have to believe it, but you sure sat there every episode getting your check. Damn Listen straight. Listen you did what it was. You sure cried at everything you with me in my hand. I'm just talking to we women. We yeah, we are women. But let me say this. I had to put two and two together and say, huh, something don't make no damn sense. What don't make... How I get out a $2 million record deal on okay, everything? They didn't here. let me go. Listen. Oh, when it got I... tough... Oh, I really? listen to you. Oh, I listen about sure your listen marriage. Here. I watch you disrespect your husband on TV. I ain't TV. disrespect my I husband. Let me tell you something. A husband is something you when want, you something got, I have, I, okay? I, 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 please I'm believe that. that. Oh, that man you describe you, you want is that man. And you not gonna story. get him. It's my story. Yeah, and that's you a lie. You get done, And you bipolar, schizophrenic, insecure, ass bitch. Reunion of Season 8, Episode 17, Bianca let her anger shine after she revealed that she wanted to hurt Britney so badly. Britney would not let any insult pass her by, so she interjected, and it made for one of the best reunion moments in the history of the show. Remember that Bree's a small woman with a really sharp tongue. The next clip featured Rashida, who said she did not believe Kay Michelle, who allegedly was one of her closest friends on the show, and during the reunion, Rashida lost her cool, making for one of the rarest moments in the show. No, I just want to say that this is pathetic. Is anybody to fight you, oh, darling? A truce between you two? A truce? Yeah. 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 I don't think we're asking for that. Think I'm recording with you, bitch? Think I'm recording with you, bitch? I got somebody <laughs> waiting <laughs> for you, bitch. Look, That's I know exactly much. where the you live. Get the mutt out of here. Are you? Are you kidding me? Turn the music up. 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 Turn the music I'm pressing charges. Good luck with coming near me next season. I know you're a good dude. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You was willing to embrace it and be like, all right, call it truce, whatever, whatever. All right. All right, now. And I'd like to welcome back Mr. Ray to the stage. Woo! Hi, I'm yeah, better. I'm better. <laughs> know. Thank you for joining us, Ray. Thank you. I know. I'm genuinely sorry that that happened to you. Are you OK? I feel better now. Like, I didn't, I knew that he was not sincere. I mean, clearly you've seen all season, he's a flip-flop. Caught up in what was happening, but apparently I'm told that Alexis laughed. Alexis, let me ask you why you thought that was funny. I was laughing at Zell getting up, trying to give him a hug. I thought it was funny, but why? I mean, it really escalated Girl, you getting pregnant is funny. Okay. And I don't like you. It's okay, she can right. laugh at me for getting hit, because I laughed at her when Moni snatched her wig off. So oh. that's fine. All right, that's fine. good. You know what? Zell Swag displayed a little bit of immaturity in this reunion after Nina asked that Zell and Mr. Ray make a truce and end their fight. Zell approached the big man like he was indeed gonna make a truce, but attacked Mr. Ray instead. The love and hip hop Hollywood reunion turned into a frenzy, and it was not the first time that Zell attacked Mr. Ray that night either. Yo, after that, Zell Swag was kicked off the reunion. I'm lying, like, how did you end up with Alan? I met Alan through MJ. That's how the relationship I mean, came about. I mean, everybody just, it you're clarifying it, it now, but from bad, what we just watched, you didn't clarify it. It would have been bad if I, if I would have denied it. Oh, that's a lie. No, I, yes, I did. I said it. You, you, guys, you think that don't bother me? What you mean? But that, okay, but, okay, you got 
music, bitch. What? Like, what if I said that? That well, wouldn't hurt you. You're probably that wouldn't hurt you. My detox actually removes toxins from your body, bitch. Everybody. It helps you release, bitch. Oh what you need okay, to detox well, you know right I'm, now, because you okay, tripping. I'm okay, I'm okay with my music, my I hate the fact we're grown as women, and we are talking about who blocked who, who said what on you what social me media. First. I get that part, but we're talking about like... We're I not speak my mind. No, I'm just letting you know I spoke my mind. I told you how I was hurt, where the hurt came from. I'm trying to explain that to you. Like, she's not taking accountability for what she did. I don't think that she should have slept with Alan. But were you guys together? Yeah, baby, I, I respect you, but I really want to hear Go from ahead. MJ and, and how he's feeling and why this Go has ahead. affected him. Because I, I, I loved her. You, you still know what I'm saying? We invited Alan to join us remotely tonight, but... He declined. I bet he did. Amada, are you guys together? I am the mother of my children. I am the father of my children at this moment. So yes, I am a single. Pa I am a single parent. Okay, so Julian, how do you feel about this whole situation? I don't know him. I'm just going off of what I've seen. But the thing is, I know her. I, I mean, we're cordial. I'm for always gonna have love for her. Likewise. It it hurts me to my soul. Mm -hmm. So when we react and we're upset and we're angry. It's because we feel even more betrayed because had it been anybody else, he can say whatever he wants. He ain't got a soft spot for her, and I still think he loves her. And when Shay talk her crap, it don't matter. And even though she's mad, it's coming from a place of love. Honestly, I want to take this moment to apologize, you know, for the controversies, the inconveniences, whatever the f it is that has happened. I just want peace, and, I, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. In this clip, Amara, Shay, and MJ tried to reach a peaceful resolution after they all had endured a whole season of turmoil. As you could have predicted, things indeed got heated between Shay and Amara, and in between them, MJ held his peace. At the end, Amara apologized and after Three years ago, huh? Shakina had a problem with Lyrica on a dinner night when all the ladies and men were gathered. Now, Lyrica had confronted Shakina over an issue, and it played into something larger and fiery between Shakina, Lyrica, and Chrissy. And we're back with more from our cast on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, The Reunion. Do it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, get the here, bitch. Get off me. 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 Get off Man, get off. Get my car. I got you, baby. I got get my car. Get the f off. Get my car. Let go of me. Get off. No, no, no. no, no. ago, some of our cast members got into a physical altercation and the situation spiraled out of control. We had to release our audience and secure the stage. Even the police were called. Despite all the drama you see on TV, Love & Hip Hop does not condone the violence that results when the cast decides to take matters into their own hands. We did not expect things to escalate the way they did or as quickly. Just hours before the reunion show, Stevie J and Benzino went back and forth on Twitter in a serious war of words. Last night, Stevie J posted a very compromising picture of Althea. Then this morning, Benzino tweeted that Stevie J and Jocelyn were not really married and that he claimed to have proof. And that's where things were left before they saw each other for the first time right here on the stage. Now I'm sitting here with the rest of the cast who has chosen to stay and finish the show. Let's check in with Kurt, Rashida, Scrappy, Bambi, Erica D, Carly, Nico, Young Jock, Tony, Kalina, Mama D, Ashley, and Dawn. Are you guys shell-shocked? Because I'm shell-shocked. 
Yeah, yes. yeah. I'm in still in a level of disbelief. Like, really, did that just go down? Okay, so people from time to time think that the show is scripted. Wow. That fight <laughs> was real, no and <laughs> things escalated really fast. Mm -hmm. What was scary for me was I'm sitting here. We were talking about shoes. And for somebody to escalate from zero... To a hundred, real quick. a hundred, that quick. Like, I'm like, well, damn. Like, she wasn't even mad. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to her. Look how all of us are dressed. Like, we all look good, right? I say appearance is everything. And when I first looked at her, I'm like, what does she have on? Look that like doesn't can... look like that's well, something... Spoke... Well, that's what... what she spoke to me about. When she sat down, she said to me, I didn't want to dress like I was going to the Oscars. <laughs> I wanted to be myself. Mm. It looked like she came for a street fight, though. I think she came, she came for with a street the fight. intention to do something. OK, so let me just ask y'all, what happened? It started off with Stevie saying it was hot. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn was saying, yes, it's the AC on. Then Zeno piped in and said, you heard him, then you were shit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he said, that's that coke. That's that cocaine. <laughs> that's what that is. That's, that's that coke. <laughs> and Stevie heard him. And then Althea yeah. piped in, and after you did your introduction, Stevie right. just went at him like... I heard, oh, that. I heard that you, you a yeah. Yes. And it went yes, down. Yes, yes. Jocelyn, she was just on some, some next level She just got up and yeah, just kept that's... going and straight went for Althea, knocked... All I know is stuff started flipping and they on the floor fighting, and it was crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like this was that one moment where she took it upon herself to actually follow the lead of a man. He jumped up and commenced to attack. I don't think she was able to control that enraged emotion at that moment. And once it happened, it was no controlling it. Her and Althea have been going at it for a, long, exactly. for a long time. Her and Tammy been going at it for a long time. I mean, for a long time. Her and Mimi been going at it for a long time. The rage is too much. I mean, Scary. you fighting you, four or yeah, five absolutely. people mm -hmm. for no reason. I mean, <laughs> you got Tammy sitting there having a peaceful conversation with, with Mama D, yeah. and she just get hit out the blue. Let me say, let me say this, too. That's got to be crazy for Tammy because she just Walker's joined us. Walker's not here. Right. She you just know. joined us. And I, I'm like, I'm not leaving this room until Tammy's out this room. Exactly. So, Mama D, what happened with Tammy? Because I was surprised to see Tammy involved. All the commotion happened on this side of the stage, and then it escalated over there. Right. And then I thought, OK, they're handling it. Security is handling it. So Deb and Tammy, they came in. Tammy sat next to me. We were talking about what had happened. And Deb said, well, my thing, my son is not here and let me protect my daughter-in-law. Right. Not even 20 seconds. Bang. Jocelyn cut, just came took running. a big, and just started attacking her From behind, and took like... her whole ponytail off. <laughs> and, I mean, I saw Deb's eyes, and there was nothing I could do. I mean, everything just happened in seconds. Who here has a relationship with Jocelyn? Nobody. 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 Everybody has had some type of run-in I mean, with Carly, her. I think, Carly, you're probably the closest person. Like, you guys seem to have a good relationship. I mean, Jocelyn and I have had our issues in the past. Like, a lot of people on this stage have had back-and-forth issues, and then we're friends, and then we're not. You know, I mean, like, cordial friends. But keep it real, though, Carly, y'all ain't friends. Right, no, I never, said, well, no, I never said we were. Her. You spoke to me. No, you I was like, I don't know about talking to her, because you know how she is. Yeah. Okay, I, I never so said we were real. friends. I said everybody's had their issues. She's on stage. Everybody here. Every time she addresses somebody, what? it's always none of them bitches up there. Ain't she, she always yeah. calling I'm everybody. It's the inner, she everybody got something going on with her. She's insecure. In She's very Jocelyn insecure. It's never a happy moment within her. Benzino has accused her of having a drug problem. Yeah, Do you that's guys, one of the issues. I'm not going to just put on drugs. I think that's the biggest drug, the fame of it all, just yeah, that yeah. attention. That's the biggest. To be a hit every point. Monday yes. night. Every Fame Monday and attention night. is the worst thing to ever yes. be addicted to. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really is. A lot of people cannot handle fame. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Yes, ma'am. A monster has been created. And the only way to put this fire out is to extinguish it. Because if you don't, she's going to tear down this whole empire. Carly, you've had your issues with Althea in the past about Benzino. How did you feel about Jocelyn attacking her? They've been going at it for a long time. You know what I mean? So when you finally see somebody that you've been going at it on social media, you kind of like a lot bubbles up. I, I can't front. A lot of attention bubbles up inside. Y'all saying some crazy ass But I on also can't social really media. agree because you and Althea don't really get along. And you were sitting there like mm -hmm. a grown woman and she That's sat there saying. like a grown woman mm -hmm. and it was no problem. What do you guys think about Stevie posting a picture of, of Althea? Was that like 
too low. Benzino been posting stuff too, but when you post that one, you really was insinuating that was you. Yeah. And it was her. That was really like a low, 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 low blow. That right. picture that Stevie posted was already a picture that had already hit the internet. So right. Stevie intentionally went and posted it to piss him off. What happened with, with them and what happens with people is they feel like, oh, ain't nobody about to do me like this or say this to me or do that to me. And, and they go to any limit to try right. to prove a point. Right. They start hitting below the belt. That's when below the belt get crazy. Exactly. Because you got these cameras, you got everybody standing up here trying to prove a point, trying to make somebody look worse than the next person. Exactly. And that's where stuff got out of hand. And today, I just feel like, you know what, this is an embarrassment. For me, I just know that Benzino and Stevie is just at the balling point where it's like, you know, you disrespecting my lady and you saying one thing, you're putting pictures out and Benzino, I mean, Benzino was just like, I'm over it. And I heard him say he's over it before. But I told Rashida several times that this is this real. is a this different Benzino. Normally, Benzino and Stevie, you know, they had their little issues, and then they'd be, they be bro, bad. I love you, bro. They got this Yo, bro man this thing time, going. I don't, I don't <laughs> see no, this. that. Was... Stevie and Benzino been having this bro man's back and forth for many, many years. Like one minute they're friends, next minute they're not. So they probably be friends. Tomorrow, hopefully. You know? I doubt it. It's over with. It's over with. Yeah. No, this was it. In this clip, Jocelyn and Stevie rode for each other. And what's more iconic than a couple standing up for similar beliefs and protecting each other's interests? So security tried to contain the pandemonium, and while escorting the fight and cast off stage, Jocelyn went on to attack again, and Stevie did the same. You just gotta wonder why they played the irrational part in this, and eventually the show restarted without them. Shay was disappointed that her man would not take her side when she was in a pit against his friends. Now discussion was held around the matter and things got out of hand. Nina Parker was the person who kept the cast in check in this clip. We were talking to Pleasure, we saw you, you said that you didn't really feel like he had your back. I'm in a situation against his friends and my man is not taking any sense. But he, I just seen he it. He can't different. defend you and he, he can't... He should himself there this in the first place. You don't know what I'm saying? That's how you properly defend somebody because you're making two people understand each other's point of view. That's my brother, this is I'm, I'm explaining why he couldn't. I'm looking at it from an outside to the yes. oh. I'm Let's not get disrespectful. We, 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 no, we don't have to get disrespectful. Plain, plain and simple, that's it. I'm trying to be on super. Oh, that's his. Oh, I ain't know that. Is that you all have an opportunity to talk about any storyline, and then you want to speak, you have a right to women and men. It ain't had nothing to do with that. Okay. I was having a conversation with. You don't need to yell at me. Not me. I was just playing the part with you. Told to shut the up, man. But I was talking. What the reunion is about. When they was discussing Erica, Rich Dollars made some comments which Safari did not like. Now immediately, the bad blood between them jumped out, and Rich Dollars launched a Safari. Yo, your pants look way too tight. I don't like seeing all the ankles that I'm seeing. Are we doing that? Don't talk about somebody Are like that. She's not here. Oh, Yo, Playboy. I'm this, okay, yeah. let's play that game. Ass. Me running slow mo. Make sure he's okay. I'ma see him. I'ma see him. Calm down. For all you. Wanna play? Let's can. play. All right, clearly that was crazy, a little unexpected. His relationship, and I love Rich to death. Stop acting like you care. Don't try to embarrass him. What he said was very disrespectful. I would never say. In this on a fun note, can we get a, a straight? Straight, my love and all. Ain't nobody could tell how that fight started, but everybody knew. Yandy was right in the middle of it all. Now, the fight triggered a security lockdown, and when they could return to stage, only a few cast members was allowed back. Now, the host then asked if Yanny knew anything about the attacks, and she said, <laughs> no. Yeah, man, but we know better. Focus is the kids. Let's focus on the kids. Let's talk about we could how talk you lie. You think uh, you had somebody here. come to fight Are me. you crazy? The Spice and Tommy didn't hold back on each other, man. Now, it was a simple case of misunderstanding that led into something a lot bigger. Now, Tommy claimed that Spice was being hypocritical, and Spice thought that everybody else allows Tommy to get away with whatever that she wants. Video. Every okay. last video I've seen from you is Tommy. horrible, honey. This video has 77 million views. Type Who some of bitch. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no,
Fuck up. Bitch. Like my mother fucking people, fucking everybody treats you bitch. You disrespect you me. your whole mother. So you are nasty. I get you to stop blaming me for your at out of here. If somebody come where is willing no, to tell God. her the truth to her face, she'll have a that's problem with it. Problem, and I that's don't the got problem. No. Friend them can't tell her the truth. But tell me problem is nobody is willing to stand up to her. It, you're lying. That's your problem. Let's try to get to the misunderstanding on Instagram saying, Oh, spies making me look like an alcohol and saying that's my son and the pig was vomiting. I good, my face good. Uh-huh. Pop star spice, what you doing on Love and Hip Hop, bae? So basically what you saying about me being laid and all of that stuff, like that's gonna affect me. People it has been shot. No pop star from okay. Jamaica and came on Love and Hip Hop in America. I'm still gonna say it. And why you want me to say otherwise? Yeah, you need to calm down. Get rid of them wigs. You need to calm down. Your bracelet's I'm squeezing. Not gonna, I'm not. All right, ladies. I'm we not. know we're not gonna get it's anywhere, dead. unfortunately. Uh, like, it was a lot going on that day. Like, I had to go to jail, that, and it was the mere fact of me mixing the henny with the uh, right. chardonnay. Jail that yeah, to you turn myself that. in because mm -hmm. if they say I have a warrant, then I need to go take care of it. I'm not judging Tommy. I've been there. I was feeling her at that moment, so I was just like, Tommy. Mama was in there. She's like, Tommy. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. When Spice, she was saying, "Stop laughing." Do you feel like that was your point of frustration yeah, like, and why things think went you so are left? So laugh. Well, okay. I'm gonna let you laugh right now and I'm gonna- Tiara Marie heard that Shakina had been running her mouth, so she approached Shakina during the reunion to clear the air. Now, Shakina got angry that anybody would put her name in such a conversation. I mean, we about to see a Will Smith slap here? Let's find out. Man. I don't got a problem, but I thought you had a problem. I'm trying to save it. I didn't want to do it here. Hearing from Chrissy that everybody already knows, let it the f go. I'm not talking about your business. You don't want mentioned. Oh, did she pay a Curtis yet? Last night when I was performing. Girl, I was sitting right there with you talking about that other thing. When I was up on the stage, did you say? I don't remember I recall saying it. Yeah. Change, honestly. Yeah, on that sofa last night, did she pay 50 cents yet? I'm gonna tell you what I said in your face. That's always been me. No, let's come on. Hey, girls and boys, who told this girl while she was performing, I asked her she paid 50 cents yet. Yeah, you calling it out, I did. But I told her too, though. So, okay, but can I not tell you? All right, all right. What is happening with this young lady? I yell. I'm always yelling, I talk loud. I'm so short, I be wanting to be heard. I don't be the top. I asked me. I'm with you, you baby. Baby. This is. And I mean what I said. Is... I'm a bitch. They watch Babe track star running across the goddamn sand trying to go get it. Now, Tokyo once said that she wanted all the veterans of love and hip hop to be kicked off the show. Now, when the ladies heard that, it did not sit well with any of them, and the situation escalated. So much so, the Mariah Lynn and others who had beef saw a good opportunity to strike. That's what I'm saying. Go like get you a toy. Get you a toy. You got a whole husband here. What the is you born for? But when I invited people, pop up all the number. No, like, no, 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 no. It's a negativity. Like, Jen gets up and make this big old side of attitude. Bitch, I don't play with you like that. Problem is, make it up. Come on, what it is? It ain't no makeup. All right, so what's the problem? Say it. I said everybody. Everybody. Know everybody know heard everybody heard that's a long time Who thing. Got more witnesses than witnesses. And y'all know that all the vets needs to get off the show. Everybody have a problem. What? Y'all can send me home tomorrow. I knew about it. You didn't think it was going to get back to us? Tell a lie. I know I'm going to go from zero to 100 real quick, but I'm very disappointed. Ever have fun, because you know what the problem is? There's too much And Because it's a problem. Everybody's in. Everybody tense. Having a problem. How to fester inside of you. Oh, no, no. Gotta get caught. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
We'll find out with Love and Hip Hop Miami. At first, I thought I never wanted to see Masika again in life. But since I met up with Nikki and she confirmed everything that I thought about Masika, I need to go ahead and holler at this bitch. I'm always down for some free entertainment, and she is very entertaining with her delusional desperation. Welcome. It's, it is your funeral. Yeah, I mean, it's a, definitely a death of our friendship. Fake friendship. You were supposed to be my chick. Cloth are you cut from? Like, I've never even met anybody of your Sweet. caliber. Platinum. Like, you're, you saw how he was playing me out. You told me to let him go. Well, he we said, that's the a life of eight were years. Were you not with me at the ASCAP Awards? Bitch, I never saw your man. He was never your man. And now I'm giving you the finger. Get the out of here. I'm proud of my body. So when I got scripted in Playboy's first ever scripted television series, I was so proud of it. Good luck on your 40th birthday. Masika and Berg, they deserve each other. And at the end of the day, I'm with That's the popcorn. I, 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 I bitch with you. Swear, uh, with your fake ass. You got your ass and your face injected. Up. Fake titties, your fake nose, your fake lips, your oh, fake stomach. Oh, no, it's real, bitch, but you need hair. a fake one. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Mr. First, pluck down. Get that snout fixed like you injected the rest of your face. My nose is real. All I right, know, boo. You know got a Jewish nose, baby. It's no, bitch, you got a snout. <laughs> Goodbye, honey. The streets are calling. Today, we're going to be talking about some beef that happened when Hazel E. realized that Masika was indeed not her friend, and she chose to stay away from her. But in this clip, the two ladies came face to face, and the war of words felt like they were slapping each other physically. So I will not sit on couch, nor seat, nor anything with this bitch till you apologize for what you said about my child. You wanted them to have this conversation, though. I did as well. Because y'all got the best verbiage with the, each other. Yeah. She walked away like a punk. Okay. I don't even think right, it's a gold digger. I just All think right. that she's a pro. So. Okay. And I think you're a hoe. Mm -hmm. so All right, pro. Please sit down. It's already well copyright. Um, it's popping. Just went to Dubai, here. perform the record, you know? I never did a record with him, which is why I've been pulled from YouTube and every thing else. It was a hook that you used for a song and it's your song. Yes, I never had to meet the man to do a record. I do not know Fetty. Oh, you don't know him? No. Exactly. When you're but doing you... music in this industry, you can go into a studio. That's like, you should never spoke my daughter's name, period. You should stop speaking my name, period. I'm That's so unfortunate, because it just was a record that he did a long time ago. Why so, is she still talking? You know, Why is she talking? Sika, do you think that she did the song with him to, to spite you? There is no song with Eddie, honey, and, and no her. Song. Yeah, yeah, just stop talking. Everybody needs to stop talking about people's everybody. kids. Like, That's everybody. I, like I even hypocrite. told her I she was wrong. I did it. I told the truth. I with you, Masika's my friend, but that comment, that one, like... Would you be willing to come back on the stage? Move her back to the holding cell, and then when I leave, bring her back. Masika, did you have an issue with her? I'm not doing this. She can okay. get off the stage and we can talk to me. And she made up this rumor saying I faked a crash. Actually, that'll be your vagina with all no, the vagina we've seen go through it. It's just great. Room. It's just great. You should ask your ex-boyfriend. You can dish it, but you can never take it. Masika, don't leave. Let's try to get to the bottom of it. Well, and tell bitch, I wasn't done doing. with you. No one told you to, uh, to turn okay, your fat see, ass this around. Is this is why. This is why. Yeah, this is why. Masika, come on. Masika, would, would you sit on the couch happen. and we can Absolutely talk that not. way? She can't Masika. breathe in my air. Drew, switch no. with us. I brought her back from the dead, and she can die. No, now, actually, so. I came out of retirement for well, your fat ass. Well, actually, if it wasn't leaving, it's her or me. I said, when she threw the drink at me, that I'm not giving her any more camera time. During this Love and Hip Hop Hollywood reunion, Hazel Lee was invited to the stage by Nina Parker to ask her questions about her friendship with Masika. Now, instead of sitting there, Masika chose to walk off away from the stage. Hey, girl, did you come here for your chocolate surprise? Come on, you know your Whether it's in public or private, those who do not fancy themselves in the show always find unique ways to show it. And in this clip, it was Brooke who raised hell at a public gathering. When I thought that at Shakana having this uh, relationship seminar, I had to get that bitch some of her own medicine because me and Shakana got our own beef. Yo, bull out early. Like, yeah, so, you know, I, I would be making the mistakes I've made at this point. Hey, man, I might be here to give some, man. I might be here to give some. You sound like you're lying. You know, so I kind of okay. forgot who I no, was. No, that was a compromise. Hmm. So what happened when you meet a dude and you know nothing about uh, who he used to mix with? I don't even know her and she don't know me, so why she always, like, got my name on? That was Shakana did to me when she was. Why is this girl still with me from years ago. You always throw a shot. I've been always you always throw a shot. That's just what you do, because you're a punk. Big ass. Hey, let me show you. I didn't pump fake in your ass. Oh, wait, that's your child. Yeah. No, you the punk. 
difficult at this point to retell the story of their beef. And in this clip, Akbar went out looking for trouble and trouble she and D got from Shakina. You know, the only person on the show who would never back down from a fight. And one of the cast members to be considered really emotional. But this was just the tip of the iceberg. You ain't that we could just talk like two adults. I should have known. I mean, do you have to be a bully everywhere you go? She with everybody. I'm chilling. I ain't got no smoke. Oh, you put me out. No. How the do I get put out the event when somebody threw a drink on me? with you. She with you. She with me. She with anybody got more followers there. And y'all don't get it. And you know, if I burn want to talk, have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation, we could do that too. Fight this is this is my event. You're and right. if you ever come here and argue, then the door is right there. Fact I'm gonna go somewhere one time and just have a good time. Rice and beans. So Akbar appeared on the show as a bully, and wherever she went, trouble followed her. This clip started in a serious altercation between Akbar and Shakina, whom she drenched with a glass of drink. What's going on? Music is my life. It's actually what has saved me. Proclaim themselves as something. Yeah. But it made people feel some kind of way. So we got somebody who wants to talk to you. Who is this person? Akbar. Josh! What's up, Akbar? I'm not interested. You're not interested, Keisha? No, I'm not sure. interested. I was very surprised at Jock trying to ambush me with this whole ass beef with this bitch Akbar. I embrace and I support any female that's trying to get it, just like how I did. Keisha, Keisha, where are you going? Atlanta don't even know you, baby girl. Oh, she gonna keep egging you all, though. I right? don't give a She gonna be keep on talking to herself. I don't give a damn what you call yourself. She could call herself the queen of the damn world. I still wouldn't give a I really feel like they just doing this just to be messy during the show. I am here to promote my project that is chart. We're gonna see you later. Bye, babe. Bye, you guys. Y'all want that? Get that on camera. Oh, Y'all, how about that? Period. Where's my I need validation for my no mother I'm artist. I am a real mother no. Y'all insulting my mother artistry. Y'all put up a little surprise like that. You want to pop That's in. disrespectful. It's not... right. I am. You so see look, me, mother if you could easily grasp what happened in this clip after a few moments in, you'd be amazed at how Jock had invited Akbar to a studio where light-skinned Keisha was present. Now that's one bad mix in the studio, and everything felt flat because light-skinned Keisha chose to leave. <laughs> I don't know what kind of energy Sierra and Bambi is going to have to work. But my thing is, when Sierra is around her other friends like Bambi, you know she act completely different. We're going to get up and we're going to get on a catamaran. Oh, yeah. And ride around the island and do fun stuff. Everybody get your plates. Let's eat. Oh, yeah. Have oh, you been doing music? Um, of course. A little, no, I actually just started back, like... To make music, you have to have a right yeah, state of mind. Nothing so can I be... guess I get what you're saying. I'll we, get we, you there. We have to. <laughs> we got to. We need to go to anger management. She said we got to go to anger management. <laughs> I have spoken to her. Like, she's been working a lot, so we haven't really been able to have, like, the normal conversation. Bitch, who the f*** you come to the house? I can't talk to you. I can't talk to Sierra. Still, they don't believe it. This just not make sense. Oh, yes, you're the one who said who the talking to. I know well, I'm defensive because I get up. To the yeah. Oh. No, we're going to talk. She has to talk. Because you have something to say. Let's talk. Let's talk. You want to talk? Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk. Because you just came from the house. Who the you talking to? I ran. I saw some major hot note. Oh, I never talked to her. No, I just didn't know. know. What Erica did was wrong. The stuff she was saying, I told Bambi she was dead ass wrong. Like, this some bull I'm so sorry never said or started If y'all always are trying to fight a reason. Like, why are you so upset, Spice? Speak on it. Because at the end of the issue, y'all be really having it. I was like, what the f? 
You told Why me. Why you always so fake? How come you haven't talked to your best friend? Oh, I have talked to her, but not about that. She's been working like I said. I know damn well that Erica went straight to Bambi after the argument, and here Bambi's at the table. When I was talking to Sierra earlier, when we were on the way here, she told me that Erica said something that was way out the way. I'm, I'm so interested to know what she said. Bambi has always been a solid rock behind Erica, whom she claims is her best friend on the show, and they had enough time for themselves to fight. Spice and Shakina arrived at the dinner with the plan in Spice's mind. I know it was Imani's wish for, basically she wants everybody to get along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is the current status of you and Scrappy? Mm -hmm. we're, we're not. The biggest thing in a co-parenting relationship is to communicate. Even for Bambi, the first thing she said went with him. Yeah, when you text him, you text us. No, I don't. No, you actually I have a do. child by him. I don't have a child by you. Absolutely see, that's my not. issue. In my heart, I really do feel like you're upset. And I know that... About what? About I, them being together? Listen, the last time we were on a reunion together, you went and you got a restraining order against Scrap. And then as soon as <laughs> me and Scrap broke up, y'all was back, you know what I'm saying, in the same space. So we agreed that we weren't going to film with her because we didn't want to embarrass Imani. And when she found this information out, she texted him and you a bitch ass. It was funny, but I said I ain't gonna even let it anger me. It's about my daughter. That's all it's about, so. so first and foremost, he doesn't want to communicate. He told him money to tell me to text him. Okay. And that's why I said, if, if it's something quick that I need to talk to you about or say to you, like, just pick up the phone. I'm talking about E-Money. If you're sticking toward the, the, the guidelines of your kid, and you're not being disrespectful, I don't see no reason why you can't text and how I could take it out of context if we're talking about e-money. All we doing is saying, hey, are you getting money this weekend? Why Sometimes, guess what? It? I don't be able to get any money. Sometimes so I, get, I get there, I get there, say, and hey, e-money not even her. there. E-money not even there. This is crazy because I have to talk about, this is how I'm getting the answer right now. I have to come to Love and Hip Hop on the stage and get an answer so she can lie. Here you go with the lies. Uh, you so angry. Yeah. What is wrong with what? Let me That's tell you, okay. let me tell you, I got, okay. I, I got an app crazy. right here, Shawna, so whenever you're ready to go it's, it's and cool. say, he not it's paying cool. child support, I got my app right here. Right what here say, just what they say, read the Notifications you have received, 10 notifications. DCSF records you. indicate that you are owed at least so three too. months in back child enforcement actions to collect these arrears. What's the date on that? June 12th, 2019. Thank you. That's our receipts, baby. I got you, but check this out. I need you. Wait, 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 what they say? Play. June 5th. Okay, let's go back down. April, April 19th, regular collection. What they say? February 2019. That mean I missed one month. No, we go, they go one back years. Month. years. You just yes, said they go months. back years. She just said three months. You just gonna and lie. And only y'all know her. She gonna, gonna always lie. do this. You just gonna right. she gonna always, she a basic baby mama. She gonna okay. always do this. Oh. I stop here claiming she with her, her baby daddy, everything all good and all that. Shawty, you ain't even seeing them. That's why we why can't so see them. Why you so invested on what so, I got going because on? Because you're trying to saying. fake the phone. Okay, Kirk, Rashida. Exactly. I know you guys are close with Scrappy. I know you're friends with Erica. Heartbreaking for us because I've for years have tried to get Erica and Bambi to even just talk. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I just look at it like, for the children, for exactly. the kids, y'all have got to come to some type of medium. Erica Dixon and Bambi would never get along because of the existence of Scrappy in their lives. Now in this reunion video, Erica tried talking about the relationship between herself, Scrappy, and their daughter, Amani, and things got heated as Bambi intervened and Scrappy almost lost his cool when child support came up. <laughs> oh, you got a problem with me? Girl, I've been trying to save it. I didn't want to do it here. You said, oh, did she pay uh, Curtis yet? Who is Curtis? 50 Cent. Did he say you owe him? Yeah, it's it out. Change, honestly. Yeah, it's it's yeah. really changed, honestly. It really is. And I feel like whoever went back and told her that they keeping up. No, let's come on. Hey, girls and boys, who told this girl why she performed? I did. Well, that's good. I told her, too. OK. You said you calling it out. I did. I'm just letting you know I already mentioned it to us. I ain't fake. I took it back to her myself. That's 100. I'm always yelling. I talk loud. I'm so short, I be wanting to be heard. I asked me. You ain't got no bitch talking to me. I asked me, bitch. You ain't got no bitch talking to me. Don't be a mother. This what is I said, I'm a bitch. I can't hear you from here. So Lyrica go from an injured player on bed rest. Where the is Mike? You got a problem? OK. Yes, I 